Well, nothing like a good distraction. <gasps> Has my magic returned? Oh, guess not. All right. Rain's Rhapsody. You know, you can't run from your fears forever. Which is why you've got to get the jump on them. Give them a whack right in the face. I thought you were just joking around. I only learned what it meant when I started teaching for the Bard Coven. All right. You asked for this. Stop the Emperor, right? Then we play on! Ida, do you have kids? Uh, but they're not mine. Mine. Oh, it doesn't matter. They both have real families to return to. And then Rain battled their fellow Covenheads? and sacrificed everything to save Ida? It's just like Hecate and Azora in Book 5! Did you forget this, too? Huh? Why won't you just leave me alone? Who you are, but you are a riot. Uh, no, I excel at functions such as these. Didn't you see how impressed everyone was when I faked my death? I even love the horrid liquids they serve. <laughs> yeah, they always give us the off-brand junk. Let me try something. Don't worry, I didn't spit in it. Whoa! Hey, that's actually good. How'd you change the flavor? Little trick I taught myself. Changing the chemistry of a liquid with sound waves. See? Bard magic can be cool. People just don't give it a shot. <laughs> all right, I get it. If you whistle loud enough, can you make all this less of a drag? I wish. This is my third time. Always the same boring activities, same boring faces. Your scholarship. Don't worry, I wanted to transfer out of Epiderm anyway. And apparently my parents always hated the cold on the knee. So... Okay, Ida, give me the rundown on this place. <laughs> oh, you'll love it. It's got all the secrets. And since Tara spoke to Principal Faust, I can get away with pretty much anything. Mm, I've never had apple blood before. This stuff is good. And after that, we were inseparable. <laughs> 